The following are a list of irrefutable evidences for evolution. Transitional forms. Christians love to say they're in a transitional form. However, that's a big, that's many lie. I can install several of them from the top of my head. These are proven links, and while creations will make up lies and attempt to discredit them, the fact remains that these are what are objectively there. Phrenology, single cell to both your cell. Tiktaalic, fish to amphibian. Archaeopteryx, dinosaurs to birds. I'm bald, seek the snake tons. I'm a little whale. Platypus, reptile to mammal. Astrolopithecus, and friends. Homo habilis. Archaea, Australopithecus, Africanus. Primates to man. ERV, endogeno retroviruses. What are they? Well, sometimes when you get a virus, it's an ERV. This means that when it starts attacking you, it alters your DNA. That's right, it pulls out some your DNA and then replaces it. The answer I have been being able to it's kind of scary. Sometimes this can affect the gamete or egg and sperm spell, and when that happens, your child will have an ERV in their DNA. This will get passed on as long as that line survives. The cool thing about ERVs is that you can use them to find your family lineage based on where exactly they are, and you can do further back than that. Turns out we humans have ERVs in the exact same places that chimps have. Other animals too, but the ERVs we share with chimps are so close that we may as well be sister species. Oh, wait, we are! It's digital structures. A distributed structure is something that an animal has, but no longer is used for its primary function. It only exists because the animal had it in a previous form, and it still does something important. We humans have some tail bones, wisdom teeth, appendices, and so on. But there are more profound examples, such as some whales having hip bones. Dormant features, features slash atavisms, logical opposite of vestigial structures. Dormant features are features that, while well, they have been evolved out, appear every once in a while. Humans with tails and a full scale to muscle control, dolphins with legs, and even chickens with teeth. How could they have the genes for these things if they didn't know them in the evolutionary past? Finally, radio carbon dating, or indeed all isochron dating, are tools used by scientists to date rocks, fossils, and the rest. Now, it's important to know that isochron dating has its problems. You can't use it to date things over a certain age, and, for example, carbon dating will work against sea animals. But scientists know this. Scientists calibrate the data, and when creation is love to tell that you can't know how much carbon was in a system at a time, it doesn't matter, because the amount of carbon doesn't matter. What matters is the ratio of daughter products to mother products. That's how isochron dating works! If you want more detail, then ask me. All these dating techniques prove life is at least 2 billion years old, the Earth is at least 4 billion years old, the universe is at least 13 billion years old. Any questions?